So I don't know if you know sort of the more mathematical discipline of game theory. There's something called mechanism design. Hmm. So game theory is this field where you model some kind of interaction between human beings. You can model grappling that way. You can uh, model nuclear conflict between nations that way. And uh, you set up a set of rules and incentives and then use math to predict uh, what is the likely outcome depending over time based on the interaction given those rules. Mechanism design is the design of games. So like the design of systems that are likely to lead to a certain outcome. And so what you're suggesting is you want to create, you want to discover systems whose decision tree, all the possible things that could happen, feel like there's choice being made, but ultimately one of the parties doesn't have any choice in what the actual final outcome is. Uh, you're making them feel like they're playing a game too. So it's not like you don't feel trapped. It's kind of like- <laughs> Well, the best traps, I don't. you don't look very threatening. So I'm like, oh, I'll walk over there. I guess, wouldn't that, I guess that's kind of an interesting thing. If a lion, st when does a lion roar? It's an interesting thing when you watch like lions hunting. They don't roar when they hunt. They want to, when they want to move you back, they do stuff like that. When they actually want to come and get you, they're pretty slinky. It's like water covered. It's like furry water. Yeah. And, and I guess like when you keep that in mind, um, it, it's funny how like uh, for us, a hobby actually, you know, brilliant guy, like a, uh, one of my MMA coaches and the head coach at TriStar, um, he brought this up one time. I thought it was a really salient point. He said, let's say we have a million person bracket, but yeah. it was Im impossibly huge. Like Frank Dukes winning the Kumite level, huge bracket. And he claimed to knock out like 250 consecutive people. And you're like, that is all of Hong Kong <laughs> was in that thing. And everyone kept their mouth shut. Yeah. But anyway, uh, that's pretty cool. But uh, to, <laughs> to come back, uh, a little improbable, but pretty cool. Um, so let's say for instance, like there's no cheating going on, no cheating going on. And we're flipping coins, right? Someone is going to have an unbroken string of victory through that bracket, which is pretty insane. How many how many consecutive like toss ups this person won, mm -hmm. and then at the end of it all, imagine we like aliens show up and we go, "Hey, they want to flip a coin for whether or not Earth whether or not Earth uh, you know gets to gets to continue." They'd be like, "Oh, I'll do it. I'm good at this." <laughs> Yeah. That would be tempting as a person to to do. You're like, well, I'm a lucky guy. Or you're like, are you, are you sure? Maybe, I mean, maybe effectively you are. We could argue that effectively you're incredibly lucky. But basically, uh, is that an actual ability? Is that like a perk in a video game? Or is that just this thing that happened? So anyway, uh, how many times are someone, you could go through an entire career, you know, particularly in a fight sport. Well, let's say you get 15 knockouts and 15 toss-up scenarios, because you see that happening all the time in the fight game, a toss-up scenario. It's not like you're mounted on me and like and and that's not a toss-up scenario. Many, 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 many striking scenarios, a lot of grappling ones, but tons of striking scenarios are dead toss-ups. And uh somebody wins by knockout, they win five times in a row, then they lose a couple times in a row. And we go, What happened? You're like, What do you mean what happened? They were always flipping the coin. And then they win five more and they go, ah, back on track. Can you imagine that? You're flipping a coin, I'm like, heads, 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 tails. What? Tails, tails, heads again. Oh man, I'm back on it. I'm flipping good now. Yeah. That's basically what's going on. I think the vast majority of the time, and then you know, humanity's you know tendency to see a sign in almost anything, you know, starts to present itself, and then we build a narrative in our mind to to convince ourselves that we're in some sort of control. When in reality, I was in a marginal situation at best the whole time. Yeah, without having much control, without having a deep understanding of the system, the same story is told in the stock market. With many of the human, these distributed human systems, we start telling narratives and start seeing patterns without understanding actually the system that's generating these patterns. So if we can see the system, that's incredibly valuable. Yeah. But then you go, well, what system is above all of the systems? And I guess maybe physics, maybe something like game theory explains these things. But like, I guess what are the th what aspects of the system can I can I put my hands on that I can touch and understand? Yeah. And what am I what am I missing? What what what's going on in the world all around me to continue to lean on on Dune that I don't have uh, <laughs> that I don't you know you talk to a blind person about about the world about the sight and talk to someone that doesn't have everyone who's got coronavirus now so no one can taste or smell. They're like, this is delicious. Like, is it? So yeah. anyway, uh, you know, again, what what senses am I missing or what understanding am I missing that's preventing me from seeing the dots connect in the world all around me? 
And I think sometimes if we, uh, oftentimes, we, at least personally, I've screwed this up a lot. I'm so nose deep in the in the trench of trying to understand what I'm doing that I can't take a step back and realize, you know, that I'm in a forest, not just head headbutting a tree. And I may be doing both. Maybe both. Two things should be true at once. But uh, so I would say when it comes to strategy, trying to understand that. But then also you go, well, okay, well, how can that sounds cool, but how can you actually do that? And then I'd say that's a really good question because if I imagine I say, man, I should fight like Stephen Thompson. I should fight like Wonder Boy. He's like, good idea. Go do that. I'm like, ah, not, the, not the guy. I would fight like Khabib Nurmagomedov if I could. You know, it seems to work. So anyway, uh, you go, well, what if I could develop, what if I could take my time developing skills so that when these strategies become apparent, they, you are, they are executable to you. Mm -hmm. You actually have the ability to like, inner to again to be the person in the arena to be the person required whereas there's plenty of great ideas like dunking a basketball is a fantastic idea <laughs> alas for me unless there's a small trampoline nearby i'm not the guy but that doesn't make it any less good of an idea i just don't I haven't developed the ability or, or i lack the ability so anyway I, I think a lot of times at least when i watch people in fighting i'll use an example um we're so con we're so concerned with trying to win early on rather than develop skills that I'm going like, well, what's the best way to fight with my current set of skills? And usually the the path forward is like the barbarian route, like the, you put on the one ring, take the damage you need to take to hit that guy. And that was something I realized very early on in my MMA career was like, I'm not that good at striking at that time. I'm not a world-class striker now, but I'm way better at striking than I'm given any credit for because it helps people sleep yeah. at night, I think. But um, <laughs> no, I'm serious. But uh, um, yeah, yeah, you're always introduced as like this master, you know, like master gr grappler. And I'm like, that's nice of them to say that. Maybe I'm not that good at grappling. We haven't even seen that. And yeah. but the funny thing is, where I'm like, just because if people almost go like, well, Lex, like, so you're really good at this, but you got to understand, like, we're equal, man. Like, I'm good at this other thing. Maybe you're really good at what you do, and I'm just mediocre at what I do. That's yeah. also possible. So there's plenty of people that define themselves as a striker that do that just because that's for lack of other options, not because they're a really good striker. Or like, yeah. I'm a grappler. I was a grappler as a blue belt. Not really. So anyway, I guess to come back, uh, if, if if I'm constantly going, how can I win with what I've got right now? I think oftentimes I never take the time to develop the skills that I want to develop. And I also never take the time to develop the strategies that I want to develop. And that has actually been one big blessing of uh, fighting so infrequently, which has been really frustrating as a result of injury and uh, time away. And, you know, some of those people being hesitant to get in the game, but uh, it gives you so much time to to be out of the trenches and focus on developing your abilities so that now it's almost like developing money, like you mentioned, the stock market that you can now put in. Mm -hmm. Imagine you told me Bitcoin was a great idea five years ago and I had eight bucks. Man, if someone told me Bitcoin was a great idea five years ago and I had, you know, 50K, I'd be like, oh my God, I'd be sleeping in my bed of money that I would then set on fire later today just to do it. So all the due to all the injuries, you've been mining Bitcoin all this time, and now you're a rich man. Well, no, actually, someone Rapping told me I was trying to mine for Bitcoin, actually, like in a cave. Mm -hmm. And then I found out recently that it's actually mining is like a, a figure of speech, you not like a literal thing that you do. This but I mean, in my defense, English I mean, language I mean. is difficult. It is. It really is. Next time, talk it's to me. I'll stupid. explain. <laughs> and Ru Russian is more uh, is is a rich language. You should learn. You should learn Russian. I'll help you out. I believe you. Thank you.